So tell me where you're from. From Spain. And tell me why you're here. Because I got TMD in 2014 and since then I have terrible headaches, uh, pain in my neck, sh shoulders, yeah. and especially pain in my left temple area yeah. and my left um, lower jaw. Lower jaw, on <laughs> yeah. the left side primarily. Yeah. I mean, if I'm relaxed at home, um, I don't speak loud and I don't chew um, her fits. I I don't do mental um, um, activity or something like that. I feel great, but yeah, I I, I have to do these things in in my daily life, so yeah, I cannot avoid them to feel better. So who have you seen for this? What have you done? Oh, I. I have had two splints and I also went to the physiotherapist for some um, massages. Bite down for us and show us like, yeah, are your teeth, they don't come together in the front. Mm -mm. And that's a new thing since 2014, right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So it's, it wasn't like that before. No. In 2014, all of a sudden you noticed your front teeth didn't touch. Yeah. Right. But after get after getting TMD, um, my bite was progressively getting worse and worse, more open and open, and I'm scared. And that's scared. why you're here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We imaged you. We looked at CT and MRI. Mm -hmm. We looked at hard tissue and we looked at soft tissue. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that you had a little bit of arthritic change on your left joint, but it appeared that the cartilage was normal, which didn't make sense. Yeah. So I sent your data off to a surgeon that I trust in Maryland, Dr. Zibovitz, mm -hmm. and he and I interpreted and we're a little worried. We're worried because we saw some very minor, oh, I shouldn't say minor, very subtle inflammatory problems, basically, is what this means, um, in the tissues above and behind the disc that are not supposed to be there. And just because our radiologist read your joint as being normal one mm -hmm. o'clock, which was where cartilage should be in a normal state, it doesn't make sense because bone must be rubbing bone if it's flattening out. So Dr. Zivovitz was worried that this might actually be um, a potential surgery case. The options, which could be surgery, it could be orthodontics trying to move your upper back teeth back in, but um, the, core, the core decision revolves around stability. You know, it seems as if, you're, you're, if your bite's not stable, the reason you're here primarily is because your joints aren't stable. So we're really concerned about performing the DTR and we're kind of trying to decide if maybe if we catch bite up to joint, that gives joint a chance to relax and adapt. I shouldn't oh, say relax. I hope so. Muscles would relax. Um, you, you remove excess force and pressure on certain tissues, hard tissues and soft both. Maybe, maybe things will change over time. So you've decided not to try the orthodontic, not to try the surgical. You know, you don't even want the consult because you've almost almost had one indirectly through me mm -hmm. um, and you want us to try the DTR mm -hmm. because we are going to with DTR try our best to catch your bite up to where your joint wants your bite to be and we've noticed that your muscles are very um, they're very weak in your temples especially on your right side even though your left is hurting your right temporalis is quite strange looking on yeah. the EMG readings which are very objective so you understand that we're going to do a little more grinding than we normally would, which, you know, we're going to stop at a certain point, but I know that I have to take a fair amount away on your back, left especially, and right, and I need to add on your canines up front. Is that a newfound sensitivity, the cold? Yeah, after after getting TMD, I, I started to notice that I have cold sensitivity. But you didn't have it before 2014. No, never. So you could drink cold ice water, milkshakes, mm -hmm. cold beer, whatever. Mm -hmm. No problem. But no, no. <laughs> Zero ten. Not fun, huh? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I would say eight or nine. Not good. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> No 
not so open than before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We haven't done much. I mean, I've, remember I talked about how I normally take no more than about 50 to 80 microns, right? There's a thousand microns in a millimeter. Normally, I'll, the years I'm probably going to wind up doing about 100, 150, which is like twice what I normally do. Oh my God. So far, I've taken maybe 30, okay? So, all right, we're going to bite home. We're going to rake off to this side and then open, okay? Don't close yet. Bite home hard and rake and open. Good job. Is it good? Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, big time. Look at you before. See this? Mm -hmm. Flat. Look at this now. Wow, big difference. That's massive. And I've done very, very little. This is good stuff. And open. Your left side, because you're hitting it too hard. See that? Uh -huh. Left back. I mean, look at these muscles. You guys can see that, right? Remember in the beginning, they were dead. They're firing up. This is healthy. Yeah. Yep. Yes, I now it's, it's alive. So there's a change. Perfect. Is that a big difference? Yeah. Especially when I look up before. I felt pain a lot and now not. Deal, right now. No. Oh, my, my bite is really different. I mean, yeah. I can contact almost all my teeth and yeah. before it was completely horrible. Yeah. I mean, only um, my right molars yes. contacted yes. each other before. Yeah. It was horrible and now I can't touch almost all of them. Maybe here not. Here? Yeah. I feel, but it's much better. Yeah, I'm not completely done yet, but yeah. the neck, the neck. Oh, the neck is. That's pretty cool. Fabulous, huh? yep. Big difference? Mm-hmm. Give her the bite down, home. Now slide forwards like we did for the MRI yesterday. Remember when we went to edge edge? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you? Oh. Are you spasming? Yesterday you were spasming. Remember how hard that was for you to do? Is that hard for you to do right now? Oh, no. I That's a big deal. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and look at my muscles. Activity is so different. Is that hurting at all? No. Was it hurting before when you did that? Uh, a little bit, yeah. But not now. Uh -uh. Not now? Uh-uh. And your neck is still good, right? Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. Your shoulder feel different? Your face? I mean, what what else? Anything else? Yes, I would say that. I feel relaxed. Yeah. And before it was horrible. And not now. So I do didn't have any headache when I clenched my teeth. And before, when I did it, I felt a lot of tension here in my temple area, and sure. not now. Nothing. It's like my right side. It's like um, balancing. Yeah. This one, so I feel better. Good. Yeah. Good. All right. So it's been what? About an hour. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like now compared to what you felt like mm. when you walked in? Okay. Oh, I feel um, less tension in mm. my shoulders and neck. And my bite is totally different. I mean, I can contact almost all my teeth and it's great. It's awesome for me. Um, when I clench my teeth now, I don't feel so much tension in my left temple area yeah. than before and I'm very happy for that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel so much pain when I speak and yeah. I'm really really happy for that yeah. because I'm very talkative, I love speaking. No. <laughs>
Okay. I used to feel a difference when I move my neck left and right and up yeah. and down. Something interesting, interesting, sorry. Yeah. Yesterday when I when I was uh, in the bed trying to sleep, um, I realized that my tongue wasn't up like the it was down. Yeah. And I think it's important because before it it my tongue was always there up and like pushing up On these front teeth. Yeah. My front teeth and now not. Nature finds its own way to create uh, a way to get you off of your back teeth in time. Because that's what we do with ETR. And that's what splints do very crudely. But what we do is uh, physio permanent. It's anatomic. So now the brain, your brain, realizes, hey, I'm not really on the back teeth that much anymore, the way in excess, like I was. So it doesn't look for that relief. Because you found... You learn subconsciously that if I stick my tongue between my teeth, you know, like this. Yeah, that, always the. Uh, yeah, uh. if you did that, that the muscles would get a little bit of a breather. Because when you're smacking back teeth too long in time, that's what ramps up muscle, exhausts it, and your readings were just pathetic. Mm -hmm. And now your muscle activity looks relatively normal. Zero to ten, what do you think? What's your number? I'm going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What do you think? Three? So it's profoundly different than it was originally, right? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, you were grimacing the other day, and it was hurting. It's not hurting now. You just feel cold, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's normal. So you're able to keep it in your mouth even. <laughs> <laughs>